This lesson covers significant changes to chapters 8 and 9 of the 2020 NEC, as well as a few changes to the informative annexes. We'll start by looking at one of the most significant changes for the 2020 NEC. Chapter 8 is entitled Communication Systems. This chapter has developed over the years to cover every commonly applied type of telecommunication system. This includes telephone, radio and television, and ethernet connections. It also includes broadband, where it's connected from a utility to the user. Chapter 8 is unique in the NEC in that the requirements found in previous chapters of the NEC don't apply to Chapter 8 unless the Chapter 8 section includes a specific reference to a code from an earlier chapter. Chapter 8 addresses a specific type of electrical wiring and equipment, primarily designed to carry information instead of power, and as such, it calls for a unique organization. Article 800 was originally titled Communication Circuits, which really didn't fulfill the role of a set of general provisions. For the 2020 NEC, Article 800, General Requirements for Communication Systems, is in fact a new article, sort of. Much of the content previously found in Article 800 has been relocated to Article 805. This had the effect of opening space for Article 800 to take on the true aspects for general requirements of communication systems. As a result, Article 805 is now entitled Communication Circuits. Like I mentioned before, Article 805 now only houses the requirements specific to communication circuits. So what we have now is a clear organization for Chapter 8 that in some ways imitates the organization of the NEC as a whole. The renamed Article 800 holds the general provisions to minimize duplication later in the chapter, and the new article on communication circuits takes the old title and many of the old code sections to a more focused new Article 805. The first half of this class will look at the changes to these two articles, 800 and 805, followed by three changes to Article 840 and the few changes to Chapter 9 and the informative annexes I mentioned earlier.